Now, I put this video together uh, showing this scraper, load dirt, unload dirt. If you've never watched a scraper work, it's pretty interesting. Uh, this is a 13-yard Ashland scraper. Uh, it's being pulled by a 400-horsepower front-wheel assist John Deere. And what he's doing here is I piled all that black dirt that he's hauling. I piled it with my little Kubota and my five-yard scraper and cleaned off the borrow area and cleaned the area where we built the pad there in the background. You can see we built a pad all the way around that building. And what he's doing is he's laying the topsoil back down and spreading it. And uh, Ryan is a, a very, very good operator. Uh, he, he gets her pretty smooth just unloading it out of that scraper. Um, and this scraper... Uh, it's got three different functions going on. Uh, that front gate, as you can see, opens and shuts. Uh, the tub raises and lowers. And then there's an ejector uh, gate in the tub. The back of the tub is, is that ejector gate. You can see it going back now. He's putting it back in the load position. He's got his tub up in the air, got his front gate down. He's got his ejector back to the back. When he gets up here on this pile and gets ready to load, then he'll start opening everything up again. And this pile was, oh, eight or nine or ten feet high, and he's, he's down to the base of it now. So there he, he you see, saw him open his front gate, and then he lowered his tub. And what he's doing now is he's getting up on the side of that and trying to cut that side off by staying in the middle. If he just got on that and straddled it, he'd slide off the side of the pile. And when he first started, there was a couple times I thought he was going to fall off of the pile. I was busy running the loader and didn't have time to get my drone on him when he was doing that. This dirt's extremely dry, and you see how he's pushing dirt in front of him. And this probably, oh, all together, this took him... Oh, uh, not quite a full day to haul all that black dirt back out and spread it. And here you can see how he's already worked up there by the buildings and he spread topsoil all around that. And now he's finishing on the borrow area. And then if he has dirt left when he gets the borrow area all covered, then he'll, he'll pick up whatever dirt's left and he'll go around and hit the spots that he thinks he got a little thin. And here you can see how he's working that edge. If he pulled over to the right feather, he'd slide off and and it'd just be a mess, he'd just create a mess. He's, he's really good at this. And you can also see when he puts that tub down a little too far and tries to cut a little too much, it'll just stall that tractor in that dry dirt, it'll just spin out. And here you can really see how he has some trouble with his dirt being so loose. See how he's spinning in it? He just almost stalled himself there. That dirt's so dry. So he has trouble getting his tub real full because it wants to just pour out. And you can see him pushing dirt in front of it there. And here he cuts a little deeper trying to get it to fill up. He's moved a lot of dirt for me uh, over the last four or five years with this scraper. He's pulled it with a lot of different tractors. Uh, the first time I was around him, he was trying to cut real hard clay and he was pulling it with a, a center pivot Case IH with tracks on it and it would just completely stall the tractor. It'd just spin out. Uh, it takes a lot of horsepower to load that box if you're trying to pick up hard dirt. I had him do a project for me this summer, a road project, cutting off a road bank and using the dirt to elevate the road down the road about a quarter of a mile. And he got too far off on the side one time when he was dumping and tipped it over on its side. So we had to get the grader and get a hold of it and get chains on it and get it pulled back on its wheels.